would ensure that people, when they listen to this debate, they understand where we're coming from. We cannot, at this point, allow people because of their maybe because of their clout, you know, mislead several others. There are a lot of people who are genuinely, genuinely following the struggle, genuinely being part of it, just to ensure that there is a success at the end of the at the end of the tunnel. I know what Emeka MK is preaching, his journals and everything he writes. You know what um, um, Mr. Tony Nadi is also preaching under the AAs of uh, Loa Congress, you know? If we look at this thing, if we break it down the pyramid, you would understand that for Tony Nadi, for example, he is saying that the Nigeria that we know today is broken into three to four different parts, which is the Sharia state, Middle Belt, the lower Niger, which is the Biafran um, territory itself, and then um, that of the, um, the West, which is the Southwest, the Odudua um, um, and so on. Now, how do we, how do we ensure that we engage these people? I, I love what you just said. You said that you're open to engaging these people and making sure that you know, we can work together. It seemed very difficult. They are many intellectuals who call themselves intellectuals. I call them bell electrals because they are looking for the atomy. They're looking for things that are going to the atomy. My point is, what type of means do we, do we put together to have a debate? Just as we're doing right now on Zoom, can we have a maker, a maker series on this type of platform? Can we have Tony Nadi on this? At least those are the two people that I know that are trying to discredit every single thing that IPOB has done. You know, can we have these two people with ourselves at IPOB on this platform to have a concrete intellectual debate that is that doesn't have any sort of bias? You know, we make our stance clear and the people who watch and listen 100% who stream it live on Facebook. This is a suggestion. This is an idea I, I think would clear so many of this air. Because I, I see, I see we are, we are, we are quite, we're quite learned people. And at this point, lots of people have lost their life in this struggle. I have families who have lost their life in this struggle. And many times when I see the way things are, I know what people tell me, you know, about this our struggle but I, I don't give i don't i don't care is you, you know uh, for me I, I i believe um they say it's, it's treasonable and i say what's treasonable what do you understand by treason you know so there are certain things that i currently am no more scared of i i think there is there is if you look at 100 percent of the people currently in nigeria i'm in lagos to be precise that's why i said in nigeria if i was in the east i mean biafra now 100% of people in Nigeria are tired of Nigeria. They are tired. Many of them are scared to come out and say it. They just say it in the beer parlor. They say it, um, you know, on the streets and maybe in one corner of their rooms. But how do we ensure that we do what is right? Those people who keep discrediting everything IPOD has done, now the canoe is doing on your humble self, let us have them on this platform. Let's call a debate to write a letter. If it takes us to write a letter to them, that we want to have a debate on why you think that this should be done this way. You know, I remember the very first time when, uh, that was in 2012 or 2013, when Emeka Emeka Siri, I, I think Nam De Kano was calling him the law. You know, he was in the studio with Nam De Kano at the time. And then um, I think um, Tony Nadi called in you know, Tony Nad called in and they had a, a similar um, conversation. You know, that was, I mean, during the teaching period of the project. We've gone far from that time up until now. We know the impact we've made all over the world. We know what we have done. So if we've come this far with the strategies that we have put in place, we are the one pulling the crowd. We are the one making sure that the federal government of Nigeria, you know, 
make some steps that we have seen that it was part of the struggle, it was part of the essence of IPOB that some of these some of these decisions have been made. Now, if we have been able to do so, what's what's it with uh, Mr. Tony Nadi and the uh, MK MK Syria and those other people, you know, that we cannot deal with? Let them come and let us have the debate and let us clear this once and for all and let the people know who is fooling who. You know, and, and I think and I think that, that would that would make IPO be more honorable. It would make IPO be, in fact, I mean, there, there wouldn't be any question because I mean we have done our best to ensure that these people who are making all this noise here and there have been brought to a debate and we've made it very clear. Okay. It doesn't matter how okay. long it takes us, let's make this thing happen so that we can we can move ahead. So next time we know that they are just talkative like the the, the the lady, I don't want to be abusive, you know, uh, Miss um, or Miss Emmy Lunoya, who you broadcasted are, the rubbish. You are, go, who, who, you are going on the, you are, right. The, okay. Um. Yeah. You you just made um, a very important point, and of course, that's your you know opinion in that in that direction. Um, um, the question uh, I may have to ask is, um, do you think that this suggestion you're making is feasible under the circumstance? Because at the end of the day, uh, one is talking about um, Nigeria, you know, <laughs> getting some kind of um, autonomy, self-governance within the uh, structure called Nigeria. And then the other party to which we belong is of the view that the contraption called Nigeria and her continued existence remains a, a, a crime against humanity. Continued existence of Nigeria is continued dehumanization of the Afan people and of course other vulnerable indigenous populations. And that for us, the Absolutely. best way forward is for everybody to go their separate ways. For Biafra, which has been in existence and was wrongly robbed us as a result of the connivance of the international community, uh, especially the superpowers, Britain and their allies. Um, to rob Biafrans, what is theirs? And they actually carried out that genocidal audio of violence. And that led to the decimation, the massacre, the genocide that arguably is second to the Jewish Holocaust. And if you look at what has happened since then, you find out that no justice has been done. No justice has been done. No perpetrator, no war criminal has been brought to book. That has happened and it has happened in the history of mankind with reference to Biafra all over the world. It is not possible that millions of people will be massacred in a more gruesome way that the Biafrans were massacred. And yet, somebody comes out and say, there is no victor, there is no vanquished. So the question you, every right-thinking human being should be asking is, who then killed these, mil these millions of people? Did they kill themselves? Somebody must have been responsible. So for me and for every other person uh, who think along the line, I think Biafra genocide is the only one where nobody has been held accountable. I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Hello, deputy. Who think along the line, I think Biafra genocide is the only one where nobody has been held accountable. I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Hello, deputy. 
genocide is the only one where nobody has I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello, yeah, deputy. Um, this is um Chima Jim. Um, I'm calling from Biafra land, uh, any good province from our local government. Yes, thank mm, you. I, okay, I heard what um, okay, K said, and um, I don't quite follow, I don't want to follow his path because um, what he said is his opinion, although he's, he's his opinion, and his opinion is um, okay, he's entitled to his opinion anyway. But to me, in Igbo language, we have what we call Afiauma Nelongwia, good market sales. So I don't need to me, I don't, I don't, I don't think inviting Tony Nadi or whatever they got themselves, to me, to my own opinion, is anything to go about because all those those people are just mushroom organizations. Now, just like our brother Elaya that came from Abia State said. So inviting them to come and debate what? Is it IPOB is more than glorious. Nobody have achieved what IPOB have achieved. Now it is those people, Tony Nade and what and the, uh, and his cohort, they are the ones that are supposed to be even to, uh, trying to find a debate or trying to come closer to IPOB because no one knows them. I, I don't want to call someone's name because of I course we have to gone too far to even begin to think of going back. Uh, uh, going but just back. like I said, this is people's parliament. Everybody can air uh, his or her view, uh, okay. ventilate the opinion. Go ahead, please. Hello, okay. sir. So what I'm somebody trying to is say... still talking, uh, Mazi Okoye. Somebody is still talking. So oh, okay. So what I'm trying to say is that we have gone very far. I saw one interview that they granted to, I don't want to call his name because it's nothing to me, say he's Wazik or what, I don't even know him. So I saw those uh, UNP, UNPO and I googled about it and I find out that all those- yeah, They're but talking to uh, people who are still in the nursery school. In the nursery school. About so, UNPO. UNPO. So Wherever you trying, see UN, you jump up. UN. You jump up. UN. You, you UN. jump up. So, so we have gone more far to be talking about Tony Nadi, they are nobody. I don't want to talk about that Tony Nadi and the, the cohorts. So we have gone more far. IPOB is a, is a warrior. I, I thank you, Koki Abiyama, to bless IPOB, bless Mazenam, they can bless you, which I'm for Chike, those are all the principal officers that are working assiduously to our restoration. Afiyama, Afiyama ne Elohumia. Good market sales. Nobody is my I, IPOB is the largest movement on the face of the earth, pan on. So I don't care who is writing anything, the piece of in um, um Yoruba Gota Media Express or whatever they call it. You can go there and air your view. But once you 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 go to the comments of the people on your Facebook, because I read about UNPO that you uh, you posted on Facebook. If you go down, you will see that people. Are actually coming to criticize those people. So we don't even care anything there. And our people have gone far away to understand that there are a lot of propaganda. Calling Tony Nadi to come and debate is just like you are trying to make up with them. No, they are supposed to be the one making up with IPOB. I don't suggest for them, we should call them and do which, which, which kind of debate. Which kind of debate? Do they know anything at all? Do they know their left and their right? I don't think they know anything because if they know history, they're supposed to come clean and join IPOB. Now, if they are doing it to put IPOB down, which I know by Chuko Kikia, they're not going to succeed, IPOB, of course. They are not going to succeed, and IPOB has gone more far. So, talking about them, they are nobody. I don't even want them. That's why I have been listening. I don't want people to raise that issue of Tony Nadi. We should discuss something more important. Because they are they are they are already advanced. I don't I don't I, I don't know them. So many people know the name of IPOB. IPOB is worldwide. So nobody knows about BIM or whatever they call themselves. Just those people are just um, what is stomach infrastructure. They are looking for they are looking for fame. You want you want us to come and call them so that we can do a debate. They do a debate for what? For them to come and they 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 will be feeling on top of the world that we are called IPOB. No, they're supposed to come. If they like it, but if they want to draw on the other part that they want to destroy what IPOB is doing, there will be a point when 
we we will try to give them what they want. That's my own opinion. No, no. Because I feel I feel but I'm not talking about violence in a violent way. I'm just trying to talk about like if they don't want to join, when Biafra comes, we will know. If you don't agree now, you agree later. So somebody must go to Biafra, and they can never put IPOB down. All those things that are roaming about discussing in Biafra land here. Yeah, really he's not, he's not, he's, he's Hello, not even crossing. He's yeah. not crossing our. He's not crossing our neck. So shalom, umuchineke. So nothing is happening. So Tony Nadi and whatever they call themselves. So we don't need anything like debate for them. They should be the one calling us to come and join IPOB. And if they want to join IPOB, nothing they will do to pull IPOB down. IPOB must get Biafra for us. And Biafra, we shall see in our lifetime. Hello, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, hello. Uh, uh, Masi Uchemefa uh, is Jocelyn. Good evening, sir. Good morning from here. Go ahead, please. Oh, good morning, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm calling from Aberdeen. Hello, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. We are listening. Yeah. Go ahead. So what I'm saying concerning uh, uh, Chief Raf Wazrike, I've been... You know, I, I, we, I, you know, when they started, we started with him uh, when the struggle, when I was still at home, we started with him until after when he traveled to either US or UK and came back to Nigeria and Obasanjo buyed him over. And since then, upon some of us, I have brothers, many of my friends was killed during that time of Okibwe and Owari. Most of my friends, I meant to go with them on that rally, but uh, my mother told me send me an error. So if I could, uh, if I could come back, some of them has left. That's why maybe I would have been someone who would be in grave now. But by the grace of God, well, that's how God wants it. So what I'm saying yeah. concerning Chief Ralph was Rike is just a distraction. In a, so nobody should nobody should listen to him. The, All they are nobody. doing is just to distract the this struggle. They are, and nobody. Uh, they are nobody. So for all I can say is that him and uh, our brother um Dokobasare, you know, they are all in the same page. They are all they are all bought, bought over by Britain and the uh, federal uh, and their uh, Alamajri or Muslims. So they are all in the same page. All is everything they are doing is just to see how they will stop. Even this COVID nineteen now is just to the uh, one million march. They are we meant to go to US uh, by June. Everything now, let's say maybe everything just let's say it that that's the way God now. Mazuje Mefo. You are our deputy leader and then uh, Mazen Nande Kalo, our spring leader. You have the mandate. Whatever, you know, you are the pilot of this ship. Whatever Mazen Nande Kalo said, God said to him, let, I can say, keep on this, I like what this uh, meeting now. Let Mazen Nande Kalo, whatever God says to him, let us abide. And follow him, and whatever yes, you said. And I, one thing I just love: anytime you are saying, you say you won't allow corruption. Keep that, sir. Keep it. You keep won't it, allow sir. corruption to come into this struggle. That's a key point. If we can stop anything like like the zoo, their own system, their own pattern, <laughs> I think we will get. We'll, this battle is over. The session will be coming. Contrast, Britain are the architecture. I am here. We, most of you don't know the story of Britain. That's a story of some time. Maybe one time I will call you Mazu Uchemefo and tell, you know, Britain visited my grandfather, Douglas and all of them. So that's a story. 
because most of us, Igbos and Biafras don't know ourselves. They just divided us so that they can penetrate and get away with those mineral resources and they doesn't want us to lay hand on it and they want us to become slave until Christ comes. But we, the owners of the whole mineral resources that is being govern, used to govern the whole world, we are begging for bread. With their, uh, this, uh, our brothers, they call themselves uh, um, politicians. So all I can say is that I will only advise that Mazu Chemo, for you, two of you, you are the master plan. Whatever that you know that is good for this struggle, I will ask you people, you are the architectures. You are the ones that are initiating this uh, movement. I will, I, will, I, will, I will advise and I will say on my own opinion, keep it up and don't, Yes, we can meet in meetings. People can say their own opinion. You'll only pick, two of you will only take the ones that is good, that will make the uh, this struggle move faster and quick. But I know it's a slow, it's not something that will come like magic or automatic. It's something that will go, look, the, the, the Biafra struggle means that Britain will reset the whole world and put Biafra in the system, which is not, would be easier for them because they have used the, the, the mineral resources in Biafran land from Muslim world. So for them to destroy it and then bring Biafra in, it's not something that would be easier for them. They will do it. I know they will do it, but they will do it under gradually and they will bring so many distractions to make sure that maybe Mazen and the Kalo sell off the struggle, which I know that he won't do that. So most of them have said, or you could the bomb him, bomb him, bomb him, bomb him to the extent that even our own people then sabotage the movement. That's why he was weakened. Then yeah. Raf, before Raf or um, Raf Wazike comes on his own, he was bought. But Mazen and the Kalo has vowed that instead of him to give up, it's good for him to die which is a fate, has to kill his sister. I know when his sister died, Adak, they shot him dead and now that, oh God, I don't want to short. Let me end it like that because People I don't want People have to... passed through a yeah. lot in this but struggle. I don't want to shed yes. Yeah, the, the thing is, just well, I just want to ask a question, for instance, for, for the fact that we are IPOB, uh, doesn't also to me, that's my personal opinion, um, doesn't also suggest to me, that that's my personal we opinion cannot uh, listen to any we cannot we listen to any good advice anybody. we, we cannot, cannot listen to any you know good advice. Uh, that cannot there may not be people who have superior opinion and that was what opinion. i was making reference that, to, what I was making reference that to, if anybody can convince anybody us can convince that us, they have the uh, magic have wand the magic to get biafra or get that they have all it takes or that their opinion or are superior than ours in a particular area. Nothing prevents us from, of course, listening to them. We cannot be Ezonia and all that. That is my own personal opinion. And by that your idea, sir. And at the end of the day, if it is about unity, you have to unite around something. You have to unite. And if you unite around divergent interests. We are, we are not going to get to anywhere. We, we have to unite, to, to unite around common interests. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, 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 Deputy, um, thank you very yes, sir, much. Go ahead, please. Uh, yes, sir. Go what, ahead. You, what you said is, is very, very okay. What you said is, is very, very okay. What I'm trying to say is this. IPOB has gone far, far, far away. Definitely, Definitely. More than one million then, miles more away. More than one million miles away. Miles away. So I don't, I don't, this I thing don't, you people are saying, we are saying here, does not even call for, to me, to my own, 
to my own suggestion is is not about about distraction because i know all those mushroom groups yeah. will come around I, I, my brother, sorry i just want to quickly say something what i'm okay. saying is i'm building up a case because for instance we have mentioned about the Niger, Niger congress the Niger, Niger, Niger congress and her leadership has on several occasions stated that they are not going to go with the name Biafra. That this name Biafra is going to pose a lot of problem for, for us. Therefore, that the best option is to jettison the name Biafra for now and pretend and then get in through the back door. When we get there, we now tell them that we have arrived. That is the stance yeah. of the leadership of the Wanaja Congress. Uh, and uh, um, Mazitun Nadi uh, has made a number of advances <laughs> to try to convince us. First of all, in 2015, 2016, and I told them that there is no way any genuine Biafran activists can be afraid or ashamed of the name Biafra because millions have died because of this name. And it is better that we go with this name Biafra and go it the hard way. And in the end, yes. if we are going yes. to achieve success, we achieve it. On the other hand, and very important, and more importantly, it would have been an act of betrayal for me personally, to abandon this name Biafra because it would be an act of betrayal for men and women who have died for the cause for restoration of Biafra. Yes. And it would have been also sabotage on our part because it will mean that these people died for nothing. Yes. And that is why I have always maintained that Biafra shall be restored on behalf of these men and women and children who have died because of this cause. Their name, what they fought for cannot be in vain. And that is why whatever it takes, we are Biafrans. People run yes. away. People run away from the name Biafra and IPOB. But we told them that this name must be something that everybody must be proud of. Today, anywhere we, men we mention Biafra, the only people who are afraid are those whose hands are not clean. Today, they say that we are not going to talk about Biafra. If you talk about Biafra, you will be jailed, you will be killed. They killed a number of us. May the source of this gallant heroes of their fans continue to rest in the bosom of the Mosai God. But we are not going to abandon them. Today, because this name Biafra is saving lives. It is also sending our enemies to their early graves, I must say. Spiritual, because Jaffa has to be restored at the end of the day. So, anybody suggesting to us that the name Biafra has caused so much harm, so much pains, and all that, so we don't need to go with that name? That person is not sincere. And that is why I personally do not want my any association with Lower Niger Congress. In the first place, what they are advocating is unrealistic. Within the context of Biafra Resolution the name, what is in a name is more important than what do and associate that name with. So that is... So that is, that is the, the issue. Problem. I mean, that, that is, is my standpoint. Of issue. This. I mean, and that I'm is sure that a number of people and understand sure it and love that way. Yes. 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 Yes.
um, with the with the with the guy. I will stop mentioning. Honestly, um, the borderline is relevant. Like my brother, borderline is relevant. Brother, brother Chima was saying of these organizations are organizations. Borderline is relevant. Now, this this man that uh, once he starts speaking, he sounds like uh, he can string a couple of sentences together. But he lost all credibility when he distanced himself from the name Diapa. And and sometimes when you allow the people to speak, allow them to speak. Allow the within their first that's five ten speak. minutes of their within talking, the you, five, you, you realize that talking, you this is the person not to, not to follow. It will be a huge mistake for our people to listen, to, listen to these people. The man you are referring to, Mazime, I won't mention his name anymore because I, 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 I can understand the argument, the argument that we are even giving them the relevance that they have by mentioning their names. How can any sensible human being that was suckled on Biafran breast open his mouth to publicly disavow Biafra? How can any man that has his complete senses, soul and spirit, come out and say that we should deny Biafra? That is where he lost all credibility. Um, Maze Onyendu has given enough, enough credit to the other man uh, where, where he came from. And I will start mentioning their names. And, and that is as far as it goes. And the, the credit is given him as probably one of the first people to start in recent, in recent history, the, the agitation for Biafra. However, well, now this moment, 2020, it is a discredit to this movement for him to continue any agitation. It saps away, it's taken away from us. It is not adding value to our agitation and our struggle to restore Biafra. And his failure to realize that shows you how selfish he is. Please pardon me to use an example that is recent. Um, um, please do not ascribe any, any political whatever to it. But here in the United States, the, we, the, the country is preparing for elections in November. And of course, on the on the Republican side, um, Donald Trump is the you know presumptive candidate for presidency. On the Democratic side, there were at one point there I could count at least sixteen candidates, all of them vying for what to lead the party, all of them presenting their plans, and in the national debate, you see them throwing blows at each other, going at each other in public. But as, the, as the, the process continued, many of them now realized, I am doing more harm to this, our, our aim of achieving public office, the office of presidency. So what did the candidates start doing? Which is what sensible people who have the true value of the party at hand, in this case, who have the true uh, uh, value of restoring Biafra at hand, they start to drop in. And they start joining whoever they see that the masses have lined up behind. After the Democratic elections primaries in South Carolina, the masses lined up behind Biden. When other people looked at that and now said, mm, did the math in their head, and it became almost impossible for any of them to become the president of the presidential candidate, what did they all do? They hummed in, in all humility considered considered the leadership of the party to Biden. They pocket your, your ambitions, pocket your selfishness, pocket the, your, 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 the so-called intelligence you have, bring it and add it to the fold, and they all lined up one by one behind Biden. And that is what I'm, that is what I am appealing to our people to do. And if our people, appealing to the people who are following these other people, if, they, if their leaders refuse, then 
we will do what we're doing now, which is to target the body. We target, uh, 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 direct our message to the, their followers. Make them see reason, make them see logic. That the continuance of their whatever movement is taken away from us achieving Biafra. If they truly want Biafra to come, they will all line up behind the only one true leader we have right now, Maze Namdekano. It's as simple as that. Any other movement going on now is taken away from Biafra. And you, in, in their continuance of that movement, you could clearly see their selfishness. There is no way we can deny the at least 3.5 million innocent men, women, and children who died on behalf of Biafra and that name Biafra. There is no way you listen to all the war songs of our veterans and you come and say we should deny the name Biafra. You must be out of your mind. And right then and there, Odaraya, he failed all tests that any reasonable person will put in front of him to see is this the right person to follow. So you you will be you should those of you following him, you should reconsider. Are you following the right person? A man that will come out in public and tell you that he will no longer use the name Biafra. That then and there, you should, you should have lost all his credibility. So you, we need to watch very closely those of them who are following, following him. Maybe their senses are not together, or maybe they haven't quite seen the light. There is only one movement to follow here. It is IPOB. IPOB. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you very much. The, yeah, sorry, the, one thank, minute, please. The, the, the worst okay. aspect of this whole thing that we are talking about is that most of these pro-Biafra organizations or those who claim to be fighting for Biafra are doing is that they will individually and collectively sit down in their comfort zone. As IPOB is the members, members are going about doing the practical things, doing the sensitization the hard way. What the likes of Lower Niger Congress is doing is to wait to use IPOB family members and case studies to do presentation. They use what happens to IPOB family members as evidence to buttress their own selfish goal. And it is very much unacceptable, very unacceptable. You don't want Biafra, you don't want to associate with the name Biafra, but you are using the people who are actually identifying as Biafra to buttress your own position. You go there, say people, youths are being killed, uh, they are being incarcerated and all that. But the point is for you to use what happened to them as a selfish, I mean, for a selfish academic experimentation. You know, to buttress your position. We don't <coughs> want such. That is why we are asking our people to be at our lot. Since these people have started, you know, the so-called agitation for the shutting down of Nigeria, shutting down <coughs> of the constitution. Have you seen any group of people that say that they are members of Lower Niger Congress on the street or anywhere. Have you ever seen them? How many are there? And so when you are talking of bargaining, you have to bargain from the position of strength. It is not that POB that will be looking for one man or two man or two, you know, debate. yeah, or two man group to debate. So debate with. <laughs> uh, they should be the people who should come and join come IPOB, and, 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 and all that. Simple. It is not being arrogant here, for goodness sake. What exactly, on what basis are we going to have a round table discussion with a one man or two man show or group <laughs> that are going about in a divergent opposite direction? 
or parallel or tangential, whatever you call it. It's not, it's not morally correct. It is not even commonsensical. But again, there is nothing that prevents us from listening to any good advice yeah. for avoidance of doubt. Then the other people are playing local politics. It is all about IP. Without IPOB, and these people have criticized us right from the outset. Without IPOB, you will not be hearing about the name Biafra today the way you are hearing it. And so honor should be given to whom honor is due. We Indeed. are not arrogant, but we know our right and we know our work. And so honor, I repeat, is given to whom honor is due. Respect Hello. is reciprocal. We don't know it all, but we know that with some degree of certainty, we are working in the right direction. Go ahead. Please. Thank you, Dep thank you, Deputy. Um, this is uh, Chimai Jem. Um, uh, thank you very much. Um, thank you, everyone. Um, thank you for giving me this opportunity to be in this platform. Um, right now, I mean, using um, I'm, I'm in Biafra land, but we are still using the Zoom neighbor. So since that time, I have been using candle. There is no light. That's why you people cannot see my face very well. But what I'm trying so to say. You are really is, in the zoo, my brother. Uh, yeah, I'm using the Yizu, Nepal, whatever, but I'm hoping Biafra will come very soon. Sorry, my um, brother. Okay, thank you very much, <laughs> Deputy. It's, what it's, I'm trying to what, what, what I'm trying to uh, country. What I'm trying to say right now is Uchunya <laughs> Dianjo, like I repeat, like I said before, I feel money and room where good market sells, like yeah. uh, our our brother said, Mr. Dacos. He said. You, you people, you are our leader should use what um you you people's opinion because to me the opinion that is coming from a black man it doesn't come with love it comes with envy like our leader always say if you want to address me address me with love now you people have been in forefront of this agitation and everything and you people's opinion have been leading leading IPOB to this very stage. So, like uh, our 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 father said, uh, Mr. Justin Dacos said, you people should go ahead. All these things are distraction. And when you will know that our people are not following this mushroom organization is when whenever you post something or you put something on Facebook or any platform, go and watch the comments. Our people are wiser than before. We are wiser, and we we, we now know the truth about everything. So those people coming around trying to disturb and discredit our work, it can never happen. Chuko Kikabiyama will never allow it because IPOB is going there and IPOB should be there and IPOB will be there. It doesn't matter what any person any person is doing to discredit whatever. All those people are just um, uh, psycho fans trying to opportunists trying to, 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 to find something their stomach will eat. That's what all of them are looking for. For IPOB, IPOB is not coming in a round table to come and discuss with one man riot or whatever. If they need IPOB, they should be the one to join IPOB. So if they don't want to join IPOB, let them sit one place. And to my own opinion and understanding, we don't need any opinion. To me, I don't have any opinion that is more superior than your opinion and our leader's opinion. And even the director said anyone, any person that is here, to my own understanding, because yours, you people's opinion and you people's direction have been leading us for so far, and the zoo has fallen. So it is not now that all the work has been done that some people will come here and be distracting us and will be giving them cheap popularity on social media. I don't, I don't, I don't like hearing their names. I don't want them to come close to me because right now, I, let me say I'm a bit radical. So I don't even care about, they don't even exist. You understand? And, and again, like, what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to point out that they are irrelevant. They don't want giving attention at all. I, I don't even like talking about them. What I know is that Biafra is here and Biafra will be here. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you, what you say. My, we are not, yeah. <laughs> my brother, so, everybody has 
everybody has right to be respected and to be given honor that is due to him or her, you know? So it doesn't necessarily matter that no problem. we no disagree problem. on issues. Everybody mm. has his or her No own. problem. If, if they have- As long as we are human beings, we uh, are they, entitled they, to they, our rights, our opinions, no but problem, let sir. your own right and opinion in your be to exercise and claim it or lay claim to it. Okay, be we are, an okay. impediment to mine okay. because if it is, it is no longer uh, being pursued uh, on the basis of equity and fairness. So yes. I will have my right to defend myself as well. And that is just what is happening here. Um, all the agitators, whether they believe in Biafra or they don't believe in Biafra or whether they have a different ideology, they have to be respected. But on the basis of ideology, on the basis of principle, my position, and I hope I'm speaking with, I mean, I'm speaking the minds of many, is for everybody to mind his own area of jurisdiction and influence. In the end, okay. we will know, you know, who is actually who. If they win us in the battle of ideas, then we follow them. If we win them, they will follow us. Mm. It's just a fair like, play. Okay, so in, so in our dealing, in our going about to exercising our right and propagating the gospel of restoration, I believe in mutual respect. At the same time, truth must be told. Okay, no problem, sir. I I understand. Yeah, thank you very much for everything. Uh, right now, like I said before, I'm having a, a low battery due to I'm in the zoo, and um, at this juncture, I I will have to go and um, take my sleep uh, because the battery is already already low. And um, thank you very much for having me in this platform. And um, thank you, all my um, IPOB members. Shalom. Biafra is already Thank you. Here. Thank you, my brother. Your point is very taken, very succinctly put, and without any equivocation. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Shalom. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. So yes, there are people who haven't so spoken here. Who I don't know whether they don't here. want don't know, they or don't they want, want to go and sleep. Want to go and sleep. <laughs> so, um, Nebo, okay. Like to Nebo said here. something. You want to say something, right? Yes, or who is speaking? Want to say something. Somebody is... Uh, oh, speaking, Somebody is... Uh, na, na ancestor. Na, where where are you ancestor. from? Where, where are you? Uh, you have you have uh, you have, have COVID nineteen mask on, mask on, <laughs> on camera. <laughs> on camera. Come on, yes, now, but that's in Prabhupada. Come on, yes, now, but that's okay. in Prabhupada. Uh, all right. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, I will make it uh, bad. By all means. Right. Okay. By all means. Don't wear out. Yeah. Me and I. Anyway, anyway, many countries in a. Now it's a referendum, referendum now, like Catalonia. Go to a Biafra referendum from Zoo, Nigeria. And even now, Nigeria is not a sovereign nation. Then when it came to referendum like that, so I don't know, eh? Even when it came to the referendum, in the Catalonia referendum, I again with a referendum without a web. <laughs> of course, <laughs> yes. Okay, let yes. me let me tell you something here, my okay. brother. In the past, in the past, um, in the last century, let me say in the in the in it towards the end of uh, 18th century and even beginning of 19th century <laughs> it was fashionable for people to go about fashionable uh, their right to self-determination 
Their quest for independence through the barrel of guns. Their quest for independence through the barrel of guns. And a number of them succeeded. And Even Biafra also, also did as well. But today, the but trend today, in international trend law in is now different. Law. Very different. In the sense that unless you have what it takes to sustain and overwhelm our enemies the way we did in the 1960s up until 1970s, it is not advisable for you to go through that means. For Again, the mess. truth about it is Again, that any armed struggle, any, in any sovereign struggle, state, any as we speak today, to speak, will be regarded today, as act of terrorism. Will be regarded as act of terrorism, and the international community will gang up against you. You cannot just start you an armed struggle start of an the nature that of the nature. Um, was going on, unless there is a um, civil war, for instance, was going where on, unless the country had destabilized war, and people instance, are fighting for uh, the their meager resources in uh, or scarce resources uh, in a particular place. In, what am I trying to say? It is no longer no fashionable for people to go through no their right for self determination for through. through Barrel of guns, unless, uh, unless there is the backing of one of the superpowers, I must say, let me put it that way. In which case, there will be um, people will be forced to take side, or will be forced to take sides. We are in a very unique precarious situation in, in the sense that the countries the that pretend that to love Nigeria are not doing so because Nigeria they love Nigeria. The people that so call themselves Nigeria. They love Nigeria, they love the Nigeria because of what they will get from Nigeria. Their interest Nigeria. matters. Their interest Britain matters. has entrenched interests in on what comes out of what comes the out of artificial the creation they artificial call Nigeria, and with special reference to our crude oil, Nigeria. and with such that nobody goes there. Oil. I think there is a tacit look around, there is a tacit agreement, there appears to be a tacit agreement among these superpowers that where any of them has influence, nobody has goes there. Where any of them even United States of America, okay, yes, if they are to there. come into Nigeria even today, they will have to confer with Britain. To come into Nigeria today, they will have to confer so they, with Britain. So all these areas so that they, they have, with all these areas um, that upper they hand, have, they are in control. Um, they will not let go. In control. But something strange is go. happening but in the contraption called Nigeria. Is something, is the contraption something is happening that. Very soon, and by the grace of the Most High God, very soon, and we see these predators naturally and willingly abandoning that contraption. Naturally and willingly abandoning that. People are abandoning the oil. People that are black abandoning the oil. Food oil. People are abandoning oil. it in favor of other um, in favor of contemporary. Other uh, alternative sources of energy. You are in United States of America. You understand what I'm saying here. Like, for instance, you understand what I'm saying. Countries are like for instance, favoring the use of are, electric cars and hybrid automobile machines. And then this COVID and then this COVID 19. Uh, pandemic in, lockdown has uh, also pandemic lockdown dealt a devastating also, blow to the zoo as, as, as we speak to the oil is worthless. As we speak to the oil, and I can worthless. assure you, and I can assure you, or let me say, I have very unshakable confidence that after this lockdown.
things will change. Things will no longer be the same. The way we live will change drastically. Absolutely. The way we conduct our affairs will, will change drastically. The way international politics is conducted will change drastically. There is going to be already global economic recession. The way we do things, transact businesses will change. And why am I saying this? It will all be in favor of Biafra restoration. So let people not worry too much about carrying arms and all that because the way things are now, it may not be in our favor. The day you carry arm to fight for Biafra restoration in the name of having a standing army, that is the day we will lose everything we have worked for. Nigeria will destroy herself. And it's happening within, uh, before our eyes. Nigeria is going to destroy herself. Our own case is quite different from every other. I made a comment before. Biafra genocide is the only genocide globally, all over the world, anywhere on this planet Earth where nobody, nobody has been held accountable for the massacring of millions of Biafra men, women, and children. And yet they are telling us that there is no victim, no vanquish. And they are even telling us that we are desperate. We are too stubborn and are planning more horrific genocidal attack against our people. It is not something ordinary. Even where thousands of people are massacred, there is always justice for those people. War criminals are always prosecuted. But in the case of Biafra, nobody is prosecuted. And the people who perpetrate, uh, perpetrated all these atrocities are still roaming about. They are even being honored at the expense of the victims themselves. And so in a, a nutshell, what I'm trying to say to you is that you cannot compare Biafra with any other group of people. We are unique and our circumstances are different. We are another group of people not the same group of people. When I'm saying this thing, people will say, oh, too much talk. I have seen people who are writing every day, talking every day and all that. Somebody said uh, uh, we should go and join Obi-Wan. I don't believe in too much talk. There are people who have castigated IPOB. There are people who have said this or that, that IPOB is wasting a lot of time. You should go eyeball to eyeball <laughs> with people and all that. Yet, those people are nowhere to be found. They are nowhere to be found. I have always told people who are advocating such, who come with that open criticism to go and lead the way and I will support them. They are nowhere to be found. So I don't believe in talking and talking and talking actually without any particular destination. Some of them will come up with fake Facebook accounts and be talking all manner of things. We understand our people are being killed, our people are being uh, subjected to all manner of inhuman and degrading treatment. But we need to build a case and we are not losing as we speak. Our own case is different. If you know that it is not different and you have all it takes to get us Biafra, then come out and let us follow you. Those who want to shoot guns, those who want to carry arms, you come out. <laughs> 
and then we, we, we join them. Like I said, if you have superior argument, you come up. You come up and we follow you. But the disappointing aspect is that after saying all these things, none of them will come out. And so if you don't have superior argument, we continue to do what we are doing. So I don't know that I answered your question. The Catalonian people, I, I, I want to, I hasten to add, are in a very difficult situation in the sense that the European Union is against them. Yeah, you're right, the European sir. Union is against the emergence of Catalonia as an independent nation because they are saying that you cannot fight, you cannot destabilize a sovereign nation. In that case, Spain. And then there is a law in place. They signed a particular law in that can go and read about the Catalonian people. European Union as a whole is against them. So I don't think that they exhibited some level of courage and they have to be emulated. But I don't think that the Catalonian experience should be used to judge Biafrans. Anybody suggesting that, I will recommend that that person have some level of introspection. Thank you very much. I think I've stayed for so long. Okay, so um, I wanted to add that um, Elian um, Uche, Mr. Elian Uche, made a very valid point in um, you know, right. raising up some indices um, on the American um, elections that is coming in November, which um, actually happened within the, um, the Democrats, you know? And I think that's very key. You know, lots of the candidates had to drop for Joe Biden, you know, to lead the forefront. And I think- But um, that is not in Africa, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. It, it's quite- Oh, uh, my brother. It's quite- That's so funny. It, yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's That's the so reality. Funny. But Elania <laughs> has made it. Elania has made it. A, a very strong point, I must say. A very strong yes. point, I must say, yes. Yeah. Um, all those people who yeah. have been going here and there saying a lot of stuff. All those people who have been going here and there saying a lot of stuff. Yeah, they need to come down yeah. their heart, you know. They need to come down from that horse, from that high horse. You know, they need to and come down from that horse, from that high horse. The people uh, who, is, who is really leading uh, the indigenous who people. Who because, is, I mean, really IPOB is the only group today in Africa, you know, leading masses upon masses, you know, so all those people who are saying the things they are saying have to realize that that point is very salient and they, they have to, you know, follow suit. I, I just thought I should, um, you know, um, put, put that up before yeah. we go to the next. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Some yeah, people want to say something. Those Some who have not said something, something before. Emma has seen a book. I sent a message a long time ago. You want to say something? You want to say something? Yes, my honorable daddy. Uh, my name is uh, Marzi GBK. I'm calling from uh, London. Uh, my opinion, like something I want to chip in, it goes to IPOB uh, leadership. Like, you know, lots of people been trying to make their own opinion, air their view. I know sometimes it's difficult uh, to air your view on Radio Biafra because there's not a lot of slots. I think it'd be a good thing if IPOB leadership will carve out like a platform whereby people can air their view, air their suggestion. Even enemy lovers of Biafra, they can tell. It doesn't matter, it can be positive, negative. But I think in that it will help IPOB, you know, help IPOB leadership to gather some few information that will help you to get a long way. Like here in UK, uh, Tesco used to say, every little help. It doesn't matter, like, no one is monopoly of knowledge. You can, you know, say something. I think it would be a good thing if IPOB leadership will look into, like, a website. It can be like a chat forum. People can come in, 
say whatever they want. I think we we'll get a long way. And in the issue of uh, fake news, I will call it. I think IPOB media team uh, really doing a good job because sometimes when we see fake news, we try to counter that news and give out the actual news. At least I congratulate our IPOB media team because they're doing a good job. And people spend time research, counter the information if it's real or fake. So I think, yeah, that's all I have for now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, you, we, will much. Of course we will have to that consider that somebody else has also that said that kind of thing, and we are going to look into that. that kind of thing, and um, we are going to of course, I'll personally um, endorse that. Even if it's not a general thing, I think it's something that is worth trying where people can air their opinion, where people can say whatever they want to say. Of course, um, like we have always said, any valid point will be taken and of course implemented. Thank you. Rob, do you want to say something? No, he doesn't want to say something. Okay, I will leave it to the... Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Mars. Okay, Carol. Yes. So, um, okay. First is um, what we are seeing in China. A lot of Biafrans are being subjugated to all manner of ill treatment in China. What strategy are we putting in place? A lot of them are currently on the street. Um, I was I I watched the news the other day when the Nigerian uh, envoy was talking about repatriating um, people from this country where they have been maltreated, you know, back to Nigeria, um, but they have to pay for it, you know. I, I've I've seen other countries. In fact, today or a few days ago, um, British have been lifting all their citizens. I've seen lots of Biafrans, lots of Nigerians who are British citizens, they've been airlifting them back to British, back to London. Yeah. You, you know, so many countries like that, even the United States have been doing so at for free. The last time something like this happened, which was um, I think the xenophobia attack, you know, in South Africa, it was Mr. Alan Oyema who did that for free. An individual, a Nigeria, cannot even do that for free for its citizen, is asking them to pay. Now, that's not even um, what I'm trying to um, push out. My point is, what strategy do we have for our brothers who are in China? That's number one. Number two is, um, because of this pandemic, the coronavirus, it has stopped a lot of stuff. Yes, America is going to be opening, hopefully, um, in, in a month's time or so. A lot of states have been opening already. Um, you know, some countries have decided to open. Nigeria have decided to open, um, you know, for a few reasons on Monday, which is a few days. To, in two days' time, they are opening, but there are some little restrictions. How are we um, looking at our one million match in Washington D.C.? Because I'm going to be there. Are we still? A lot of people have asked me. Are we still going to be having our one million match? But of course, because of the pandemic, things yeah. may change. Right. You know, those are the two major billion points, yes. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll start from the last, the last, um, I mean, your second point. Right. Which is the one million match in the United States of America. As far as we are concerned, nothing has changed. Regardless of all the obstacles on the way, the coronavirus, pandemic, lockdown, Every preparation still remains uh, in terms of uh, getting that of the way. Uh, until further notice, I cannot say anything as we speak um, unless something um, to the contrary gives us every reason to call it off. For instance, the law or policy in the United States of America will determine so much on what is the next step for us to take. But 
at the moment, it hasn't been called off. And if there is, um, our leader will make an important announcement. But so far, that announcement has not been made. The second uh, point is regarding our China, uh, Chinese residents and Chinese citizens that China as a country is discriminating against. Of course, we have said one or two things about it, but the problem is also compounded by this lockdown. And you also rightly said that other countries are repatriating or evacuating their own citizens, but you don't have you don't have such reciprocity from the Nigerian government. And it shows you that, you know, you don't have anybody actually coming to your rescue in That's terms right. of circumstances like this. At the same time, I want to be put on record that IPOB may not be in position to do everything Absolutely. because we don't have that capacity. We can only persuade, we can only advocate for people who are in difficulty, for those who are in position to actually um, do something about it. There has been an underground consultations and all that, but all has come or fell on deaf ears, on deaf ears. So, and like I said, the coronavirus pandemic, as you can see, is also compounding issues. Otherwise, it would have been on the basis of individual effort. For IPOB to chatter uh, private, or to charter a plane to go and evacuate, um, would I say Biafran citizens or, I don't know, I don't even know how to categorize it. Yeah, It's going to be a daunting task unless people who are, you know, where to do, support that initiative. Of course, we are ever willing to do something regarding it. Um, again, the responsibility, as a matter of fact, falls on the, uh, the corporate bodies and government agencies in charge of such. That is not to say that we are keeping quiet over the discriminatory practices of China against our people. They are doing this thing against all Blacks. It's not only our people. So it is a difficult thing that is number one. Second aspect of it is that the circumstance under which we are operating at the moment is so precarious. I mean, the position we find ourselves is so precarious, but we are not keeping quiet. Where we can assist as IPOB, uh, as IPOB family members, we can. And where we cannot, we will also make it open. Our advocacy is that our people, especially business moguls who are well to do, should do something about our people who are willing to come back from China. Alan Onyema, for instance, has been who is a proprietor of um, uh, a peace airline or airliner has been doing business with Nigerian government, you know, to and from China. You know, is is something that people should rally around and support an initiative of such kind and get our people who are in China who wants to come back to come back but so far i think 
Allen Oyema and uh, a number of other uh, wealthy individuals and groups from Biafra land are dissipating energy in a very wrong direction. I wouldn't stop that. In a nutshell and in conclusion, IPOB has no capacity, no such capacity to evacuate everybody from China. But if we have the means, we will do it definitely. Something can change tomorrow. I don't know. Awesome. Awesome. And finally, um, I know that um, we've been having messages from our brothers. And just like you rightly put, um, their friends are not the only people affected by this, uh, you know, this ill treatment by the Chinese. Um, there was even a video I saw one day. I, 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 I was shedding tears for the young man. Um, he was being beaten with iron by a few Chinese people. And we had our brothers, about four of them, standing and looking without even trying to intervene. Even when they did, they were even scared to intervene on the guy's behalf. Now, that video has been circulated for quite some time. But my point is, are, are, there, are there ways that IPOB have been able to reach out to, you know, some of our Chinese friends, you know, to really explain to us, you know, the reason for, yes, we've, we've had their political statements, we've had their media statements, but beyond all of that, I know that we're doing a lot of jobs, I mean, when you talk about the DOS and all director of state, they are, they are doing a very fantastic job, but what exactly do we know? And when I say strategy, I don't mean evacuate. To evacuate people of those numbers is a lot of money. I know we don't have what it takes to muster such weight, but are there, what, what little things? I'm not saying we should put that here because this is a live show. Is there, is there a way we can reach out to our Chinese friends to see how we can really damper on the situation? I mean, I, I okay, let me... That. Let me come in again on that. Um, I will come in by way of question. The okay. person, the people you see, especially the people, person being molested, I saw that video as well. I've yeah. made inquiry. I was told that that video was not a new video. Or oh, okay. did okay. you get any information to the contrary? So, but... Um it does not remove the fact that the Chinese government and her people are out there to use the blacks, in quotes, in their country as guinea pig experiments and treat them anyhow. So mm -hmm. the second question I wanted to ask is, these people you are making reference to, are they Biafrans? The second aspect, are they IPOB family members? Okay. Because it's very important that we identify this. Because That's as far true. as we are concerned, we are in touch with the IPOB family members in, mm -hmm. in China uh, through the instrumentality of the uh, principal office holders we have. Okay. So where there is any specific issue, especially first of all, concerning IPOB family members, we definitely act. And now that people are not moving, there's no much movement. It will be very difficult for us to do anything in terms of physically um, removing our people. But I must also advise that you look into in specific terms whether the people that are under this, of course, we know our people from Igbo extraction and other people from Biafra are trapped in China, but specific cases of molestation, beating, and all that, we need to find out whether they are our people. It could be somebody from South Africa, somebody from Zimbabwe, and all that. So are you expecting IPOB to do everything in that regard? <laughs> so, <Okay, no. laughs> yeah, so if, if, you are, if you are sure 
that the a specific case is directly relevant and concerns our people directly. Of course, we will try and do something uh, in that regard. Absolutely. First of all, we owe our allegiance to our immediate IPOB family members because mm -hmm. even some of them, if you, some of our people there who are from the geographical expression called Nigeria, some of them you can approach, they will tell you that they don't recognize you. You know, they will be calling Nigeria my country and all that. So mm. to them, IPUB doesn't totally... exist, but they are from Biafra land. That's true, absolutely. You so we, made, made we, 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 we need to find out whom those people are. But as far as we are concerned as IPOB, we are in touch with our people in China through the principal office uh, that we have in the Asian continent. Right, I, I think you've already um, done justice to that. So I'll start with your first question. Um, um, these guys were actually speaking Igbo. So yes, they are from Biafra. Um, um, what I don't know is, are they our family members? Are they IPOB family members? That we cannot um, ascertain. Uh, second of all is, um, um, you, I mean, we've been doing a very fantastic job. You know, I just wanted to find out if we've been reaching out to our people right there. But since that's already established, I also want to- We are in touch with our people in China and elsewhere. Absolutely. I wanted to make this um, very clear because many times when um, our fellow Biafrans videos of incidents that are affecting our people, you know, even here, you know, and abroad, they, 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 they tend to just record every incident and then post. What I want to suggest is at every point there is an incident, it is important so that we know how to track those incidents. It is important while making the video, they tell us the date and the location yeah. of what where is, yeah. the incident is And happening. names of it, people in, involved. Exactly. They may not even know the names of these people. You know, they may just come across an incident where they are helpless and they are videoing. They're looking to bring out their cameras. It's very important that they tell us the date and the location of where that incident happened so that when we are pushing all our mat materials out to the relevant authorities, we know how to address it. it. Because there are many times, if not for the fact that you've just corrected me now that the video was actually an old video. You know, during this pandemic and all this um, um, Chinese um, chasing out the black people from their homes, from their hotels, even from their business places and all out in the streets, Many videos started floating on, on the internet and you can almost, you know, beat your chest and say, oh, look at what we are doing to our people. You know, maybe this was even today, you know, if not that you've just said that that's an old video, you know, so I, I think that would help us, you know, direct our energy more. So we know how to address um, many of these issues. You know, thank, right. Thank, thank, you. thank you very much. It, it doesn't still prevent us from doing what we should do, but Absolutely. we need to get accurate information. Mm -hmm. And again, this coronavirus pandemic uh, lockdown is also a factor in making us not to be as proactive as possible in the areas we should. But we are in touch with our people. I can assure you that. Absolutely. Right. I don't know. Some people are sleeping. Some people are. <laughs> if you if you have, there are so many things that we are going to be talking about uh, today. This is just, I mean, on this platform, this is just a pilot. Uh, how would I say test run of this platform, and I can I can see that we are gradually maybe mastering what we need mm -hmm. to be doing on it. Uh, mm -hmm. The platform can be enlarged, uh, up to 100 people can join this platform, but it can, you may be chaotic. So at least maybe maximum of 20, mm -hmm. 
at the time we do us a great deal of favor or um, you know in terms of um, being able to contain i will be coming on on this platform from time to time there are so many things to talk about this is an open platform for our people to ask questions for our people to air their views and for us to agree and disagree at the same time and take whatever is important uh, information or advice being given and implement it. Uh, Biafra is sacrosanct. Biafra restoration cannot be stopped by any man. It is ordained okay. by God. And as you can see, heaven and earth are bearing us witness. And we shall be sampling opinion of our people. Not only our people from the upland part of Biafra land. We will be asking questions about our people from coastal regions of Biafra land. What they are thinking. What is it? is their vision for Biafra. And what is it? Is everybody's vision for Biafra. And we shall aggregate opinion and hopefully make progress. Because there are people that you'll be talking to today, they will be telling you that Nigeria will be better tomorrow. As we speak, Ohane Zendibo and their co-travelers, in treachery, uh, going about planning on how they will be allowed to be political candidates, presidential candidates of the highest office in Nigeria in 2023. But back door, people are dying in their backyard. Is it not disgraceful? Is it not disgraceful? Because at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense. Even if an Igbo man, an Ijo man, a Bibio man, or a Shekere is the president of Nigeria today, it doesn't change the configuration in the House of Assembly and House of how, I mean, the Houses of Assembly, Lower House, House of Representatives and House of Senate in the contraption called Nigeria, the imbalance is there. They can decide to remove even the president of Biafran extraction tomorrow if that configuration is not changed. So there are a lot of things wrong with Nigeria. It is an evil enclave meant for total and continuous decimation of our people. And the best way to go is for everybody to go their separate ways. And if there is need for us to cooperate, it will be on an equal terms and from a position of strength, not what we have now. Absolutely. And um, I have a very strong feeling that nobody from Biafra land will be allowed to test that office again. The Fulanese, I have a very strong feeling that will, you know, stock up very devastating and devilish and horrific violence, just in a way to distract attention. It is either there is going to be a very uh, orchestrated disturbance in the system or that there will be a military takeover. Even if it's for one day, for them to try to change the direction of things. Before now, People have been talking about the Northerners having their own shot, the presidency of the zoo called Nigeria. 
But today, you can see that suddenly people are now talking about a presidency based on merit, that anybody can vie for presidency, the likes of El Rufai and the rest of all, all mm. of them. They are now realizing that presidency is anybody running for president, uh, office of president can come from anywhere because somehow they feel that it is the turn of our people to have that show. But that office is useless in the real sense of it. And we don't need to commit to that. What we need is level playing ground. We don't need political office to survive. We need a level playing ground to compete favorably with others, but they are afraid of us. And so if somebody is afraid of you, it then means that you are superior in one way or the other, and they know it. This coronavirus pandemic is going to usher in a new era of opportunity for beer fans. All we need is to come together and unite around or around the common interests. Sure. So I will suggest that uh, people make their closing statements if they want to. Otherwise, we call it a night because it's late. Yeah, it's two. Uh, is it quarter past two a.m. here for me? Yeah, it's about quarter past two a.m. Sixteen minutes past two. Hmm. We have Galaxy S9. Uh, this name is too much. Uh, Galaxy X9 as a name. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's. <laughs> <laughs> on the not way, Gunga. <laughs> oh, yeah, ma. Oh, yeah, ma. <laughs> so, so let's go ahead and maybe conclude. We will come, come back. We will come back in less than less than uh, twelve hours. Less than because uh, I need to improve hours. on this. Because I need yeah. to improve on this. So, closing, closing remarks. This is Elanya Uche. Um. Yeah, okay. Um, we are friends out there. <clears throat> we are friends out there. <clears throat> IPOB, IPOB oh, is trying is to trying become power to, to the man. Power, to the man. power belongs power to the people. Belongs, belongs to you and me. And for a long time, even from the beginning of that contraption called the zoo, a certain group of people have snatched power from the people and even miseducated the people so that the people don't even know that power belongs to them. What IPOB is going to do is to return power to you. So it is time for you, all the citizens of Biafra or the citizens of the Middle Belt, even the Aousas, to rise up and take what belongs to you, that power that belongs to you, the control of your nations. That is what we are going to do now, for, for us to take what belongs to us. JFK once said here in the United States, ask not what your country will do for you, but instead what you can do for your nation. And I'm going to insert Biafra. Ask what can you do for your nation, Biafra. That is the state we are at now. What can you do to help restore this nation, Biafra? Whatever it is you can do, this is the time to come, for, come forward and do that. And all the evil going on in that entity has been going on because good men have failed to do anything. Good men, a lot of them, have been sitting on the fences watching, doing nothing. This is time for all of us to run. If you're a good man, and I know God, when we were all born, we were born good. Nobody was born evil. This is the time for you to stand up and make sure that we do something to counter the evil that we have been so used to for the longest time. Thank you, great beer friends. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, there are comments here, but we are not going to deal with it today. Maybe in the next couple of hours. Somebody is saying, how about IPOB family members? 
Some of them are in prison, but they are abandoned. That is not a very charitable statement, but of course we are going to deal with it because it's not everything that is being done that we come out in the open and say. People sometimes are very unfair with the way that they respond to what we are doing. But of course, they are entitled to their opinion. There are so many comments here. I will take a number of them out in our next program and we will have to discuss it. Of course, so many things to talk about. Thank you very much, uh, Marzia Laya. Any other person, please? Um, I just want to say um, that, um, I mean, first and foremost, I wanted to um, Mazi Uchimefo for your for your doggedness, your ruggedness, and your your intellectual, you know, impact that you've been putting in all that you do, and of course to uh, Supreme Leader Mazi Namdekano, he's been awesome. Um, I want to encourage every single person not to lose hope that, um, like, like they say, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. We will get there, and I know it is pretty much soon. Um, thank God for coronavirus. <laughs> you know, sometimes when we say thank God for coronavirus, or Dika Makaditi Nerubai, and God forbid, Omarukwai, you know, but why we say these things to you know why we say these things is because of um, what it has it has it has clearly shown that the Nigerian state is is beyond redemption. There is the fault the faultiness of its foundation is rotten. You know, and the 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 the, the this coronavirus has really shown. You know, as in ikukubo um ikoko you know, that's exactly what coronavirus has done. And uh, I hope that um, it will continue to ensure that the right thing are done. And I'm very sure that Biafra is just within the corner. Just like, just like um, we were seeing the oil, you know, before. Oh, if, if not for the fact that you have the oil price shrinking and coronavirus also hitting, you know, so many things. Will not be done. There are a lot of things happening right now, even in the news. And when I see them, I say, eh. so you people can make such decisions, you know. But it's going to go beyond that. But at the end point, the end point is that we'll get Biafra at the end of the day. And I think that every single IPOB member should ensure, you know, that they do everything they can just to support this cause. And for those people in Biafra land, you know, nobody should shake, you know? And for, I mean, you just read um, a question of people in prison and all of that. They will definitely come back. They've been granting people off prison, people that they've put in prison. You know, they've been of bringing course, them we are doing people. marvelous work in that yeah. direction. No, uh, know you fully me. well that the terrain I'm we are working saying. is very delicate. Our legal yeah, team led by Bryce A. Yeah, I'm even saying that yeah, I'm even saying that the Nigerian states themselves have been releasing people from the prison. Why aren't they removing? They don't have to. Okay. Our own IPOB members. Why aren't don't they worry, them? Don't worry. Don't worry. They, they, they won't have choice at this exactly. particular point in time. Exactly. Like you I know, said to you, I have. I'm a strong believer that this coronavirus mm -hmm. pandemic lockdown is meant for dear friends, and it's right. for good. It's for, good. for other people, it might represent something negative or it may for them be a negative trend. But for mm -hmm. beer friends, it shall be as positive as ever. And it will, it, it will open up doors and windows of mm -hmm. positive opportunities and progressive um, state of affairs for our people. Let us just with hope and reasonable mm -hmm. confidence look up Absolutely. to the future but we must not be you know lazy we cannot rest on our own as we continue to do what we are doing tenaciously and Absolutely. assiduously mm -hmm. committing ourselves to this cause 
to this quest for restoration of Biafra. As long as we remain consistent, as long as we remain committed to this cause, there is no way we are not going to achieve success. Heaven and earth, the terrestrial bodies are in agreement that Biafra will be restored and it will happen in our lifetime. You see, you see, you see. Thank you very much for making me be part of the program. Oh, bless thank you, Biafra. thank you very much. It just This is just um, uh, a pilot a program that a does pilot. not have structure, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, but we're going to yeah. improve mm -hmm. on it. Mm -hmm. All right. right. Oh, he'll be up, bro. Oh, he'll be up, Thank you. Thank you very much. Is anybody want... Does anybody want... Does anybody want to say something again? Does anybody want to say something again? Otherwise, we will call it a night. Otherwise, we will call it a night from here. Okay. Okay, in that case, I okay. will in want to case, thank everyone. I appreciate to all your contributions, and I'm very uh, sure that some of our brothers and sisters sure watching online on Facebook uh, must have, of course, uh, got one or two things. Course, there, are one one there, are there are endless, endless questions, and there are endless uh, uh, answers endless, uh, that we answers are going to be giving to our to people. Anybody that has questions should come questions. up and ask that question. Come we are a people. IPOB is as transparent as it can be in the circumstances we find ourselves. In the circumstances and we, find we ourselves. believe that it is and time for an uh, open conversation with our people, with a view, a view to engaging them on the issues that concern them. And this is just the beginning. It can never get that raw for us. We can only improve. Thank you very much. We thank the Most High God for having made it possible for us to have come together this, this morning, I must say, to have done what we have done we are not perfect because we are men and women born in circumstances of imperfection. But we also know that when the spirit of the Most High God comes, the spirit of perfection, imperfection will give way. We pray yes. that it will be so in our lives. Yeah. And therefore, we ask him to continue to renew us, continue to revive us. More importantly, may he give us every enablement to restore From me, from here, good morning. From me, from here, good morning. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And good night. Thank you, Mazi. Yeah, good night, everyone. Yeah, good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night.